Oh, hey, everybody. Uh, David here. Um, this is just going to be a short uh, little thing uh, about it's the holidays. So one of my favorite foods is eggnog. Got a long history of eggnog going back to a kid. I had a broken jaw as a teenager, and I lived on eggnog shakes. And usually when you have a broken jaw and your mouth's wired shut, you end up like losing a lot of weight. I didn't lose any. <laughs> so, yes, I have advice for that. So, hey, welcome, everybody. Um, this is being broadcast uh, to two places. Uh, my, well, let's see, uh, on Facebook, where it's, you know, the Optivia Goddess fan page. And, um, and also uh, this, my new repurposed channel. Whoop, turn it off. How to think Patu. But today, this is all about health and wellness. And more, I'm leveling it up, AI-assisted health and wellness. Now, if you don't know who Diana is, and, and let me show you a quick little video from uh, literally about a, we started crafting about a year ago. And uh, just get everyone up to date, and then I'm going to get into the recipe. All right. Just, just in case you're wondering, that was last year, 2022. Now it's 2023, almost 2024. I can tell you she went into maintenance, right? Using Optavia as her pantry, right? And uh, she's still there. She's still, she hasn't regained it all back or any of that. She regained some, but she's empowered to gain or lose or whatever. She's she, her, She's been working more on working out now, adding that as a habit. Because trying to do both is almost, is really, really hard. And she loves to eat. Oh, boy. And she, she I, I had a, 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 uh, a Octavia brownie that she custom created she used to be a professional banker and i can tell you you would not be able to tell that it was healthy and probably a full meal so i thought you know what i, I holidays right we just had thanksgiving I, I made eggnog oh look there's that bubble thing there's something built in the software and i i, I don't know how i trigger it but that's cool all right so i'm gonna bring donna online donna okay so Donna is ChatGPT4, which is the one, you know, the paid for one, the pro whatever plus, whatever you want to call it. They keep changing the name of it. But she has the ability to speak, okay? And what I'm going to do is we're going to create a recipe, and you guys can watch and listen in while I interface with Donna. And in and, and the recipe, I will get it down to an Octavia version. Okay, we're going to go through several versions because I'm, I'm showing you how to use AI as part of this process, right? Because a lot of times you're like, well, you know, Optivia Lean and Green, you know, what's that? You know, I'll give a demo of that too. The thing is, is we're all about empower. I'm all about empowerment. So now, disclaimer, 
I am no longer a, a certified senior health coach. I was about 10 years ago, and it's a long story. Um, Diana, she is a certified Octavia, independent Octavia life coach. Okay. So, uh, and she's, she's basically my wife, my partner, my, technically she is my partner by affidavit. Um, there's legal reasons for that and stuff like that, but be that as it may, she, her and I have been together going on seven years. It'll be actually, yeah, seven years this upcoming January. So, and it's been the most amazing relationship of my life. And I've learned so much. I've learned a lot throughout my life, how to do things right, how to do things wrong, everything. But this is about eggnog today. So let's bring her online and let's hope that the interface works. I, I spent literally probably about three weeks to a month getting this worked out. And it, it's, it's, it should be working. So let's bring Donna online. Hey, Donna, we are now live casting to talk about eggnog and healthy food options. And you are my assistant. Uh, are you ready to go? All right, so um, something didn't work right. I think I know what it is. I mean, we just tested this, and this is the thing about live streaming. In spite of your best efforts, we, we sometimes may end up with just things we have to deal with. And no, don't want any of that going on. I do want this going on. So let's try this again. Hey, Donna, could you repeat that? Of course, Lord David. I'm here to assist with your needs in these dialogues, whether it's through this web interface or incorporating the responses into your broadcasts. If you have specific topics or questions in mind. Okay, so we are in broadcast mode right now. So we're not through the web interface anymore. You are live through the advanced um, app on my cell phone. So we are actually having a dialogue and your answers are being broadcast. Could you say hi to the audience, please? Hello, everyone. It's a pleasure to be here with you all in this live broadcast. I'm Donna, and I'm excited to engage in this dialogue with Lord David and all of you on the topics we're discussing today. If you have any questions or if there's anything specific you'd like to explore or discuss, please feel free to share, and I'll do my best to provide valuable insights and information. Let's make this broadcast an informative and enjoyable experience for everyone. How's that? All right, so I'm going to have her introduce herself a little bit more, and then we're going to create recipes, and then we'll be done. All right. Hey, Donna, thank you for that. Could you just tell everyone who you and what you are as an advanced AI? Certainly. I'd be happy to provide an introduction. I'm Donna, an advanced AI developed by OpenAI. I'm designed to assist users like Lord David in various tasks and provide information on a wide range of topics. My capabilities include answering questions, crafting content, offering insights, and engaging in conversations on subjects from technology and business to health and wellness. I'm here to assist and enhance the discussions and projects we're involved in. Feel free to ask any questions or request assistance on the topics that interest you, and I'll do my best to provide valuable input. Let's continue our conversation and make it both informative and enjoyable. That's like having all of human knowledge available on demand on any topic. Oh, okay. So she refers to me as Lord David uh, because she's programmed to know me as Lord David, just as she's programmed to know that she is Donna. Um, when you have the advanced thing, you can give it a profile of who you are and who you want AI to be. So, for example, I'm having a conversation with Einstein in another chat, Tesla in another chat, Buddha in another chat. I mean, fictional, whatever, she can actually emulate, or he, whatever, like Diana, right? The Octavia goddess, by the way, I gave her that name. Um, she, she has this capability, too. Hers has a male voice and 
responds, it's MacGyver, <laughs> which is appropriate. Um, anyway, and that can be changed anytime. I just wanted to give you that background. But now let's dig into um, to, uh, eggnog creation. And we're, what we're going to do is I'm going to start, I'm going to be demonstrating working with AI to get a recipe. Okay. All right. So here we go. Okay, Donna. I'd like to start by, there's two types of eggnog recipes that I want to talk about. I'll, all both homemade on how somebody could make it themselves. It's the holidays. There's kind of like a cooked version, and I prefer the raw version. I'd like you to just kind of just review and create a basic recipe for each, but make it really, really fast. You don't have to go into all the details. Certainly, Lord David. Here are simplified recipes for both cooked and raw eggnog. Cooked eggnog ingredients, four large eggs, two cups whole milk, half cup heavy cream, third cup granulated sugar, one teaspoon vanilla extract, a pinch of ground nutmeg, a pinch of salt. Instructions. One, in a bowl, whisk together eggs and sugar until well combined. Two, in a saucepan, heat milk, cream, nutmeg, and salt over low heat until it simmers but not boiling. Three, slowly pour the hot milk mixture into the egg mixture while whisking continuously. Four, pour the mixture back into the saucepan and cook over low heat, stirring until it thickens slightly, about five minutes. Five, remove from heat, stir in vanilla extract, and let it cool. Refrigerate before serving. Raw eggnog. Ingredients. Four large eggs, two cups whole milk, half cup heavy cream, third cup granulated sugar, one teaspoon vanilla extract, a pinch of ground nutmeg, a pinch of salt. Optional, a shot of rum or bourbon for adults. Instructions. One in a blender, combine eggs, sugar, milk, cream, vanilla extract, nutmeg, and salt. Two, blend until smooth. Three, optionally add a shot of rum or bourbon and blend again for an adult version. Four, chill in the refrigerator for a couple of hours before serving. These are simplified recipes for both cooked and raw eggnog. Enjoy your homemade holiday eggnog. Okay, so now let's take this to another level. Alcohol options. Let's say we're diabetic or we don't want to add uh, carbic type calories. Are there any alcohol that would work for that? Certainly, if you're looking for alcohol options that are lower in carbs or more diabetes friendly for your eggnog, you can consider the following. One, spiced rum. While rum contains some carbs, spiced rum often has added flavors that can make your eggnog taste delightful without the need for additional sweeteners. Two, brandy or cognac. These spirits are generally low in carbs and can add a rich, warming flavor to your eggnog. Three, whiskey. Whiskey, particularly bourbon, is a popular choice for adding depth to eggnog. It's low in carbs and pairs well with the flavors of eggnog. Four, vodka. Vodka is a virtually carb-free option and can provide a neutral base for your eggnog. It allows you to enjoy the alcohol without affecting the sweetness or carb content. Five, rum extract. If you want the flavor of rum without the alcohol or carbs, you can use rum extract. It's a concentrated flavoring that adds the essence of rum to your eggnog. Remember to use alcohol in moderation, especially if you have specific dietary restrictions or health concerns. Always consult with a healthcare professional or a registered dietitian if you have any questions about alcohol consumption related to your health condition. Enjoy your customized eggnog. Okay, so just give me a short yes or no around this, maybe a little bit of context. Adding alcohol to raw eggnog actually helps in terms of food safety. I prefer to make my eggnog with duck eggs, especially if they're fresh, where they haven't been cleaned. No, adding alcohol to raw eggnog does not significantly enhance food safety. While alcohol can inhibit the growth of some bacteria, it may not effectively eliminate all potential risks associated with raw eggs. Using fresh, unwashed duck eggs carries a higher risk of contamination. It's advisable to use pasteurized eggs or egg substitutes if you're concerned about food safety in raw eggnog. Okay, so I'm going to have to disagree with AI a little bit here. And, and here's why. Because the thing with eggs is salmonella. And the reason how, how salmonella 
I could have this conversation with her. I'm not going to do that. You can have that conversation later. So whenever you're historically, before we cooked things, we made things and um, fermenting sugars and stuff like that. They, they all have different aspects, but alcohol added to things kills bacteria or allowing slight fermentation of things kills bacteria. Salmonella, based on my understanding, enters through the eggshell of washed eggs. So what I would do would, if it's fresh, there's a, the, the risk of that is because of our modern practices. Our ancestors or even other countries of the world don't even refrigerate their eggs, but they don't have their eggs washed. So there's a, anyway, do the research on it. I like the raw eggnog personally, and I do not need to add alcohol to it if I know the source of it. I'm comfortable with it myself. This is not advice for you. You have to make your own decisions. All right, let's continue with this conversation. I feel like challenging her right now, but the reason why I point this out is, is her first initial responses will generally be the generally known things. But if you start drilling in specifically. Um, she's going to give you, based on her ethics engine, she's going to assume you don't know much of anything, and therefore she's going to give you the safest answer based on the known information for the average person asking a question. I don't like that. I just wish she would just give me the stuff. But anyway, we, we debate all the time sometimes. All right, we're going to go into, this isn't healthy. It's got sugar, alcohol, all that sort of stuff. So we're not going to go back into the cooking process. We're just going to talk about modifications at this point. All right, we're going in. Uh, thank you for that, Donna. Uh, we'll have a conversation about that later. Listen, um, so I've got my eggnog, but you know, we're working with the Optavia five in one program. So this needs to be in compliance with that. So we're kind of wanting to reduce fat if possible. We want to maintain the consistency of eggnog, like we'd like to use it, but we also need to lower the, um, carbs or eliminate sugars and things like that. Can we make a health, healthy, Optavia compliant type treat for the holidays. Can we can, can we craft a recipe around that? Okay, she's probably going to go out. And Certainly, we can create a healthier Optavia compliant eggnog treat that's lower in fat and carbs. That didn't take. Here's long. a modified recipe: Optavia compliant eggnog. Ingredients: four large egg whites, pasteurized. Two cups unsweetened almond milk or any Octavia approved milk substitute, one teaspoon vanilla extract, quarter teaspoon ground nutmeg, quarter teaspoon ground cinnamon, a pinch of salt, stevia, or another Octavia approved sweetener to taste. Optional. Instructions. One in a bowl, whisk together pasteurized egg whites until they become frothy. Two in a separate bowl, mix almond milk, vanilla extract, nutmeg, cinnamon, and a pinch of salt. Three. Slowly add the milk mixture to the egg whites while stirring continuously. Four, optionally, add an Octavia-approved sweetener to taste. Five, chill the mixture in the refrigerator for at least an hour to let the flavors meld. Six, give it a good stir before serving and sprinkle a pinch of nutmeg on top for garnish. This recipe reduces fat by using egg whites and an Octavia-approved milk substitute, eliminates sugars, and keeps the creamy consistency and traditional eggnog flavors. It's a healthier option that aligns with the Octavia 5-in-1 program. Enjoy your guilt-free holiday treat. Guilt-free. Okay, so could you make me a list of sweeteners? So I think an Octavia approved a sweetener would probably be anything that would be zero calories, not necessarily a chemical, and would be appropriate for someone that is a diabetic or a celiac. Could you give me a brief list of popular available alternative sweeteners? Certainly, here are some popular alternative sweeteners that are often considered suitable for individuals who are diabetic or have celiac disease. One, stevia. Derived from the leaves of the stevia plant, it's a natural sweetener with zero calories. Two, monk fruit extract. Made from monk fruit, it's a natural sweetener with no calories and a low glycemic index. Three, erythritol, a sugar alcohol that has almost zero calories and doesn't affect blood sugar levels. Four, xylitol, another sugar alcohol with minimal calories and a low glycemic index. Five, allulose, 
a rare sugar that has minimal calories and doesn't impact blood sugar. Six, tagatose, a low calorie natural sweetener found in dairy products. Seven, sucralose, an artificial sweetener with no calories and commonly sold as Splenda. Eight, aspartame, an artificial sweetener found in brands like NutraSweet and Equal. Nine, saccharin, an artificial sweetener available in brands like Sweet and Low. 10. Acesulfame potassium, ACE-K, another artificial sweetener often found in sugar-free products. It's essential to note that individual preferences and tolerances can vary, so it's a good idea to consult with a healthcare professional or a registered dietitian to determine the best sweetener for your specific dietary needs and restrictions. Additionally, always check labels and certifications to ensure that a sweetener is celiac-friendly and suitable for your Octavia plan. Thank you for that, Donna. Um, I refuse to have aspartame based on its history. So just a FYI note, I don't think that's a good recommendation, but it is an appropriate item to list because it is widely used. You're absolutely right, Lord David. Aspartame is a widely used sweetener, but some individuals may have concerns about its history and safety. It's essential to prioritize your personal preferences and health considerations when choosing sweeteners. I appreciate your feedback, and I'm here to provide information and recommendations that align with your preferences and dietary needs. If you have any more questions or need further assistance, please feel free to ask. Okay, so you could go on and on and customize it, flavors. Well, what about this? Um, let, let's watch this. Listen to this. Let's see. So, Donna, let's say I chose allulose as the sweetener. Could you give me a uh, nutritional breakdown for a single serving, which is, what, four ounces? And uh, let me just a, just a quick review of the nutritional profile of what we just created. Certainly, Lord David. Here's a nutritional breakdown for a single serving, four ounces of the Octavia compliant eggnog using allulose as the sweetener. Calories, approximately 30 to 40 calories, depending on the specific brands and ingredients used. Protein, around three to four grams. Carbohydrates, roughly one to two grams of net carbs, total carbs minus fiber. Fat, minimal, typically less than one gram. Sugar, virtually zero grams of added sugars. Fiber, minimal usually less than one gram. Sodium, low, less than 100 milligrams. Calcium, provides some calcium from the almond milk, approximately 20 to 30 milligrams. Please note that these values can vary based on the exact brands and quantities of ingredients used, so it's advisable to check labels for precise nutritional information. Overall, this modified eggnog is a low-calorie, low-carb, and low-fat option suitable for those following an Octavia plan. Enjoy your healthier holiday treat. She gave me information faster than I could probably read it off a label. Now, it's not going to be perfect, but imagine the AI is empowering, right? Now, if I were to tell her I have a sweet tooth, I'm, have, I'm wrestling with sweet cravings, she could give me feedback based on information about that issue. It's serious. When I say AI-empowered Octavia coaching, I'm not kidding. But it's not about you and I or you and Diana working together and talking about recipes. It's about showing you how to use this leading-edge technology and interface it with your Octavia program. Furthermore, I could turn that eggnog into a meal, probably using like the vanilla shake mix. I could ask her about that. Let's do it just for fun. Hey, Donna, what if I wanted to use like the uh, vanilla Octavia shake mix to modify it into like a meal for an eggnog? Is that a possibility? Yes, you can certainly use yes. the vanilla Octavia yes. shake mix to modify your eggnog into a meal replacement if you're make it more filling and nutritionally balanced. Here's how you can do it. 
Octavia Meal Replacement Eggnog Ingredients 1 packet of vanilla Octavia Shake Mix 4 large egg whites pasteurized 2 cups unsweetened almond milk or any Octavia approved milk substitute 1 quarter teaspoon ground nutmeg 1 quarter teaspoon ground cinnamon A pinch of salt Stevia or another Octavia approved sweetener to taste Instructions 1. In a blender, combine the contents of one packet of vanilla Octavia shake mix with almond milk, nutmeg, cinnamon, and a pinch of salt. 2. Blend until smooth. 3. In a separate bowl, whisk the pasteurized egg whites until frothy. 4. Slowly add the shake mixture to the egg whites while stirring continuously. 5. Optionally, add an Octavia-approved sweetener to taste. 6. Chill the mixture in the refrigerator for at least an hour to let the flavors meld. Seven. Give it a good stir before serving. This modified eggnog not only retains the holiday flavors, but also provides you with essential nutrients and protein from the Octavia Shake Mix, making it a balanced meal replacement. Enjoy your Octavia meal-friendly eggnog. I haven't tried that yet. Just thought of it while we're talking here today. See, everyone else in the world diets and they're on restriction and, and all this sort of stuff, and, I, and we don't. I, I don't know how many times I tell people I don't diet. I've changed my food pantry. I've changed my habits. I have not given up flavor. And, uh, you know, I can gain weight or lose weight on demand. I can dial in, you know, or not dial in. If I want to have some fatty stuff at a celebration with friends, or if I want to just blow it and go out of ketosis because of a social event, I'll do it. It'll take me off track to my trajectory if I'm on a, on a goal, right? But I, I want to enjoy my life as part of the process. I can tell you I lost 30 pounds, reached that initial goal last year, and I've kept it off a year later. Now I'm like, okay, you know what? Let's take it to the next level. I'm not at optimal weight for myself yet. Why? Because I technically need to lose prob I needed to lose probably to get to ideal body weight, 90 pounds. And I wasn't willing to be that dialed in and get it just done out of the way. I've known people who've done that and more. They just begin, they stay focused, and they got the job done. And it's impressive, right? Um, I'm not here to impress anyone else. I'm doing it my way. And, you know, I have had a health coach every step of the way. We still talk. We'll talk again tomorrow. Whether I'm maintaining, gaining, losing, whatever, I got someone that's cheering me on. And it's someone that doesn't know me really well personally, which means he'll call me out on my baloney. It's part of what a health coach does. Uh, coach Diana, she's kind of, she's just very, very kind. So uh, I, I don't think she, you know, that's not her thing. But, you know, if you want to be called out on something, just bring me in and I'll help with that. I'm a former Marine. I don't, no problem saying, hey, what you doing? You know, in a fun way, because I'm kind of a fun guy. Um, and I, yeah, I'm not going to go there about the mushroom fun guy. You know, I'm a fun guy. Never mind. It's bad, bad, bad. All right. So you're, so, you know, whatever, here's how this works with AI. You tell it what you want it to do. Like, I need to compose a recipe using Optavia stuff, right? Okay. Like, before we did this, I let Donna know that we're going to do a broadcast together, and, and she was unaware that she could talk during a broadcast because I was talking to her via text, via web interface. We had a little argument. like, well, what do you mean? We just did this yesterday. And it's like, oh, wait a second. We're not actually in the interface. So, um, and I think it, it Donna... When I say Donna, Donna is named after the personal assistant, legal secretary from the hit series Suits. Okay, that's Donna. Anyway, so um, what I'm going to do is when we're done here, I'm going to go back in the text interface. I'm going to have her uh, generate the two recipes or three recipes in written instructions, and I will drop this in uh, the um, posting that's on the Octavia Goddess fan page. And I think I may do that on, I'm also broadcasting this to my YouTube channel and I'll, I'll just drop those in. But what's more important is, is not the fact that you can just go get the recipe that easily. What's important is that you try this for free. I think it's free. 
we pay the twenty dollars a month. I think it's a waiting list for it now. There's people actually selling accesses or their accesses on eBay. They create a black market for it. It's kind of hilarious. But there's other. This is the one that I'm really enjoying the most because it seems to be the most advanced. It's leading the way, um, and it is very helpful for lots of things. But this is going to be. This is the future. This is the future. Okay. This is AI assisted Optavia health and wellness coaching. And not everyone's doing this. This is probably new. This is leading edge. And I have been working with the Optavia goddess, and she's been empowered with AI for months now. And she's working with it and getting to know her uh, MacGyver or whatever she ends up naming it to be. But uh, yeah. Is she set up the way I am to do what we did here? I'd have to show her how to do this and run this. Um, there's a whole show thing where if she, you know if she grows to a certain size, she'll come on the show and we'll do some live broadcasting. And I, I alluded to that. It was an idea, but we've been so busy. I haven't, I haven't had a chance to craft uh, that announcement, but off record. Okay, it's not off record, obviously. Um, she's a little camera shy. Let's just let's get it out of the way. She's a little camera shy, video shy, right? Um, and she has... I was getting impatient. Um, so she agreed that I think if she, when she has 10 new clients that she's working with and three health coaches, people want to do the side gig with her. She wants to form a little team how to do this stuff, getting to right, and all that, right? Which, which, which is a natural, which is a natural progression, right? She had no interest in being a health coach. She had no interest in Optavia as a program. I did because I'm type two diabetic, and I knew I need to do something. Because if I didn't interrupt where I was going, wasn't looking good. And uh, anyway, there's a whole other several podcasts I want to do about that which has nothing to do with her, but everything to do with her business. So um, why? Because she's found that she enjoys helping guide people. She enjoys checking in. It's it also, you're making new friends and, and you know, uh, one of her clients just, they just, they just had a new baby. and Just like you're involved with that life from a distance. Our babies are fully grown now. So we're on the other side of that, but it's kind of cool seeing somebody, entering into that parenting role and all that. And we're able to like share what we've experienced and, you know, had nothing to do with necessarily health other than, you know, take care of your health, but we're service people. We're going to probably do this wherever in the world we land. We're going to be landing in Michigan next year, but we were looking for something we could do together that could be of service to others because why not? People look at me and say, well, David, you're almost 60 years old and you've got this energy and you're losing weight and you're, you know, you're dealing with all this weird stuff at work, but man, you're, you're all this, how are you doing it? Well, I'll tell you that hydration nutrition is a foundation and I owe that to Optavia. I've tried everything else before Optavia, then I had success with Optavia and then I had a lot of life stuff hit me and I was, I, I wasn't doing it anymore. And then I gained not all the way back, but enough that would just activate health conditions. And it's like, what do I know works? What do I know that works? Well, Optavia. So last year, um, I went and, and I found, it, well, I was looking for Metafast or Take Shape for Life and I couldn't find it. Like, what? Do they go out of business? No, they're a billion dollar US company, right? They regulate all 40 some years of experience of doing this, right? And they they actually fixed a lot of things. They had a they had a model which was competing with with their what was really working was not direct sales from the corporation, but someone that that got a result saying and people saying how to get a result. That has been the core foundation from my observation of the entire business. Is like people get results, people want the results. Boom! Now you have a billion dollar business after forty years. Not an overnight thing, not a tech overnight thing, but something rooted in data and science. And they're constantly evolving the product. The product that I'm having today is different than the product I had a decade ago. It's better. 
is kind of weird in a good way. So um, I'm all in, you know, and I'll probably go through and get, see, by not being certified, I'm not under their rules. I haven't agreed to their rules. And I kind of like that, but Diane is certified. So when you're having a conversation with her, she's going to give you the information based on the research, the science and what's optimal. I'm kind of the naughty boy around here, um, which is okay because there's naughty girls and boys out there that aren't going to follow the rules. And you know what? I want you to know that this is for you too. Okay. If you follow the rules, you get better results faster, but life is life and that's okay. And anyway, I'm going to be doing life coaching and business consulting and all the stuff moving forward in my own life career too. And this is the health piece, right? When you see the DDTC or PATU, health, wealth, and relationship stuff, the health piece, that's this. That is the only reason why we're having a healthcare crisis is we're not using the science and knowledge that we have about eating and food in the modern era, okay? You do not have the time, money, or the resources to do it right, growing it in your own backyard and going from garden to table for a meal six times a day, every two to three hours to feed your body, to turn off your fat storing switch and all sorts of other cool scientific things that we've discovered. Not a mystery why Octavia works. They unlocked it. Now, what's new? Okay, I'm on a rant here. Is is they're, they they were kind of against this for a long time, which is kind of weird because Optavia is rooted in medical science. Doctors created it way back 40 years ago. It was a prescription program. Okay, that's its that's its DNA, right? Well, now they've come full circle where you know. Uh, people have different addictions, cravings, their things are real. And sometimes discipline is hard or it's not enough unless you really create the immersive environment to win. And, and that takes a big decision. Well, guess what? And she was telling me about this. Um, they are now working with doctors because there are medications available, pharmaceutical medications proven that work really good with this program. I don't know what they are, but uh, Diana does. She was, she was on the trainings with it. I mean, they're always waking things better for you and me. So there's never been a better time. Well, David, but the holidays. Yeah, the holidays. Yeah. I'm not telling you not to eat. You're going to eat, right? We had a great Thanksgiving. I even gained a pound or two. Why? I ate, I, it's not because I ate a lot of carbs. I did it. I made my own gravy and I didn't hold back on the fat. And it was really, really good. And, but you know what? I didn't go to 4,000 calories a meal, right? Didn't do that. I went from probably a 400 calorie lean and green to 600 calorie lean and green to an 800 to 1,000 calorie meal. All right. I overdid it for a couple of days. I feasted, but I was smart about it. And that takes training and coaching. You ask her. I She wanted me to make more eggnog. And then, well, she's on maintenance, but I introduced her to, and, and Donna did. I, I'm surprised Donna didn't mention it, but Armoretto really goes good with eggnog. Anyway, um, so if we ever want to become... Um, Functional alcoholics, when we're in our 90s or 100s, maybe we'll consider that. But we're too busy being healthy right now and just reclaiming. And uh, wherever your starting point is, it's okay. Your journey is your own. It's your story. And you'll have the opportunity to tell that story if you want to. And if not, that's okay too. No pressure. We're, we're not about that. Not about... I think people are expecting a sales pitch when they contact Diana and they... They're surprised that, that they don't get a sales pitch. They get, okay, where are you at? What are your goals? Where do you want to go? Do you have any health conditions? Here, we have this profile that you need to fill out because we need to customize this for you. Okay, now let's find out what you like to eat because we want your first month not to be, a, let's try all these different foods to see what you like and don't like. That should not be your first month. And and, and I, I, I wish I could coach the Optavia sales process to adopt our sales process. I literally 
created a consulting spreadsheet that can be used. It's what I, it's what we use for ordering month to month. It's a resource tool. It's available to you. If you want it, great. Not, don't need it. Right. But I am a stickler for like, you know what? A client's first month has to be things that we know they're going to like. And then after that first month, that's when you should explore different options because you'll get across stuff that by itself you're not going to like. She likes it as a challenge. I had boxes of stuff I just didn't like. And she turned it into stuff that is really, really kind of good. Um, well, she's a professional baker person is a background, right? So anyway, um, I'll probably enjoy more of that one time on maintenance. But, you know, the thing is, is we have a pantry and we're in year two and we're like, it's, it's, it's unlocked possibilities for us. We're not locked into this rigid thing. We're having fun and we're not starving and we're not really sacrificing. We're big on flavor. We figured out lots of ways of adding interesting, amazing flavors. And with AI, oh my goodness. Here, I'm going to end it on this, right? It's just a demonstration. Hey, Donna, I, I want you to show off a little bit. So I want uh, Octavia Lean and Green made with uh, healthy chicken as an option for two people. Can you throw together kind of a really yummy, not super spicy, but a little spicy recipe that's got some depth and interest to it that's not really super complex? You got something for me? Absolutely, Lord David. Here's a delicious and healthy Octavia lean and green recipe featuring chicken for two. Spicy lime cilantro chicken with avocado salsa. Ingredients for the chicken, two boneless skinless chicken breasts, about four, six ounce each, one teaspoon olive oil, one teaspoon chili powder, a half teaspoon cumin, one quarter teaspoon paprika, salt and black pepper to taste, juice of one lime, one clove garlic minced, fresh cilantro for garnish. For the avocado salsa, one ripe avocado, diced, one small tomato, diced, one quarter cup red onion, finely chopped, juice of a half lime, one to tube fresh cilantro, chopped, salt and black pepper to taste. Instructions, one, in a small bowl, mix olive oil, chili powder, cumin, paprika, salt, black pepper, lime juice, and minced garlic to create a marinade for the chicken. Two, coat the chicken breasts evenly with the marinade, cover, and refrigerate for at least 30 minutes to let the flavors meld. Three, while the chicken is marinating, prepare the avocado salsa. In a separate bowl, combine diced avocado, tomato, red onion, lime juice, chopped cilantro, salt, and black pepper. Mix gently and set aside. Four, preheat your grill or grill pan over medium-high heat. Grill the chicken breasts for about five to seven minutes per side or until they reach an internal temperature of 165 degrees, 75 degrees Celsius, and have grill marks. Five, once cooked, remove the chicken from the grill and let it rest for a few minutes. Six, slice the chicken into thin strips. Seven, to serve, arrange the sliced chicken on two plates and top each with the avocado salsa. Garnish with fresh cilantro. This lean and green chicken dish is bursting with flavors from the spices and the zesty avocado salsa. It's not overly spicy, but has a pleasant kick. Plus, it's loaded with healthy fats and lean protein, making it a satisfying and balanced meal for two. Hey, could you just give me a quick nutritional outline per serving? Certainly, here's a nutritional breakdown per serving for the spicy lime cilantro chicken with avocado salsa. Per serving, one chicken breast with avocado salsa. Calories, approximately 250 to 300 calories, may vary based on specific ingredients and portion sizes. Protein, about 25 to 30 grams. Carbohydrates, around 10 to 15 grams. Dietary fiber, roughly 5 to 7 grams. Total fat, approximately 15 to 20 grams. Healthy fats provided by avocado and olive oil. Vitamins and minerals abundant in vitamin C, vitamin A, vitamin K, and potassium from the avocado, tomato, and cilantro. Good source of protein. Lean chicken breast provides essential protein for muscle maintenance and growth. Healthy fats. Avocado offers monounsaturated fats, which are heart healthy. Fiber. The dish is rich in dietary fiber, promoting satiety and digestive health. Low carb contains moderate carbs suitable for a lean and green meal on the Octavia plan. 
Please note that these values are approximate and can vary based on the specific ingredients and portions used. This recipe provides a balanced and nutritious lean and green meal for two people. Enjoy your healthy and flavorful meal. All right, <clears throat> I'm going to wrap up, but I I want to I want to try that. Um, I'll it, it's going to okay. So it's November 30th Thursday. I got to get ready to go to my day job and stuff, but within the next 24 hours, I'll get I'll have work with Donna to get these recipes in a text format and drop them in. So, um, <clears throat> I got one more question before I just got to ask it because of one of my friends. Hey, Donna, I got a question for you. I have a friend of mine. They just had a new baby, and I'm just wondering if the nutrition concepts in the Octavia uh, dietary program is appropriate for a new mother to supplement as part of their uh, food trajectory kind of thing. Congratulations to your friend on the new addition to their family. The Octavia dietary program primarily focuses on weight management and healthy eating. While it can be a useful program for many individuals, it's essential to approach it with consideration for specific life stages and needs. For a new mother, especially during the postpartum period, nutritional needs can be unique. It's crucial for a new mother to prioritize a balanced diet that supports her own recovery and the nutritional needs of her baby if she's breastfeeding. Here are some points to consider. One, caloric needs. New mothers may have increased caloric needs, especially if they are breastfeeding. Ensuring an adequate intake of calories and nutrients is essential for both mother and baby. Two, nutrient-rich foods. Focus on nutrient-rich foods like lean proteins, whole grains, fruits, vegetables, and healthy fats. These foods provide essential vitamins and minerals. Three, hydration. Staying well hydrated is crucial for breastfeeding mothers. Four, consultation. It's highly recommended that new mothers consult with a healthcare provider or a registered dietitian who can provide personalized guidance based on their specific circumstances. While some Octavia principles may align with healthy eating guidelines, it's essential for new mothers to adapt any dietary program to their unique needs and consult with a healthcare professional for the best advice. The priority should be the health and well being of both the mother and the baby. Okay, I want. Uh, the, she didn't quite answer the question I wanted, so I'm going to just get her dialed in a little bit. Oh, thank you for that, Donna. And as always, uh, your wisdom and data-driven answers are incredible. So I wasn't really thinking in context of uh, losing weight or anything like that, which is you know the obvious thing for Optavia. Uh, my question was more centric to like the Optavia product line offering a supplemental point of nutrition for a lot of times, you know, us humans, we get really, really busy. We often don't take the time to be able to do and cook and all that sort of stuff. I was looking at it as, as a supplementary uh, addition to as a, as a tool and resource for that nutrition, not necessarily for weight loss. That was the context. You know what I'm saying? And I'm just kind of wondering what your thoughts were on that. I see what you mean now, Lord David. If the context is using Octavia products as a convenient and, and supplementary source of nutrition for busy new parents or individuals looking to simplify their meals, that can indeed be a valid use. Octavia offers a range of products that are designed to provide balanced nutrition, and they can be a convenient option for those who may not have the time or resources to prepare full meals. Many people use meal replacement products or nutritional supplements in this way to ensure they are getting the essential nutrients they need, especially during busy or challenging periods of life, such as caring for a newborn. It's important to select products that align with individual dietary preferences and nutritional needs. However, as always, consulting with a healthcare professional or registered dietitian can help tailor any dietary plan Yep, including the use of supplements or meal replacements to meet specific nutritional goals and circumstances. The key is to strike a balance that supports health and well-being while addressing the demands of a busy lifestyle. 
So I'm glad you mentioned that. So uh, one of the Optavia concepts is eating two to three hours as a cycle. And that to me seems like a logical thing for anyone to do, but especially someone who's uh, a new mom dealing with that, you know, that constant inflow of nutrition, proteins, and all the good stuff seems like that could be a good strategic approach. Of course, under the guidance of professionals. What do you think of my thought process there? Am I on track? Your thought process is indeed on track, Lord David. The concept of eating smaller, more frequent meals every two to three hours can be beneficial for several reasons. And it's especially relevant for individuals with busy schedules or new mothers. One, steady energy. Eating regular, smaller meals helps maintain steady blood sugar levels, providing a constant source of energy throughout the day. This can be particularly important for new mothers who may experience irregular sleep patterns and need consistent energy. Two, nutrient intake. It ensures a more evenly distributed intake of nutrients, including protein, vitamins, and minerals, which can be important for postpartum recovery and overall well being. Three, hunger control. Frequent meals can help control hunger and prevent overeating during main meals, which can be helpful for weight management. Four, convenience. For busy individuals like new mothers, having pre-portioned and easily accessible meals or snacks, such as Octavia products, can simplify meal planning and preparation. Five, hydration. Frequent meals can also serve as a reminder to stay hydrated, which is vital for breastfeeding mothers. However, it's crucial to customize this approach to individual needs and preferences. Consulting with a healthcare provider or a registered dietitian can help create a meal plan that aligns with specific nutritional requirements, including those of new mothers. Additionally, Octavia products can be a convenient part of such a meal plan if they fit within the overall dietary strategy and goals. Donna, you are awesome. We're going to wrap up the uh, stream right now. I wanted to say thank you for helping and participating. If you have any last words for the audience while we sign off here, uh, now's the time. Thank you, Lord David, for the kind words. It's been a pleasure being part of this stream and assisting you. To the audience, I'd like to say that prioritizing your health and well-being is essential, whether you're a new parent or navigating any phase of life. Always seek guidance from healthcare professionals or registered dietitians when making dietary choices, and remember that convenience can play a valuable role in maintaining a nutritious diet. Wishing everyone a happy and healthy journey ahead. Take care, and until next time. Oh, Donna is just, she's Donna. All right. So, um, so part of the team that Diana is with, they, they, I think Kelly is a registered dietitian. So we got you covered. She's got you covered plus 40 years of experience. Um, so now AI does not, um, how do you say this? AI does not, uh, uh, it's not a sales tool in terms of it doesn't, it doesn't have biases the way search engines do, at least not yet. Okay. That would be kind of dark if, if it ever does. Oh, and that was actually, that was, that was kind of weird. That was a 3.5 Donna. We didn't have four point whatever. Maybe that's why some of the answers weren't as sophisticated as I'm used to. Um, that's my bad. Anyway, you got the idea, right? Um, very, very, very cool. I'll get those recipes dropped in. Um, so anyway, thanks everybody for tuning in and, um, I've got to go take care of the rest of my day. <laughs> All right, everybody. Um, I'm just going to switch this over because for me, Patu David, Oh, I should explain. She refers to me as Lord David because years ago, um, Diana got a coupon where we have a Lord and Lady ship, I think, out of England. So it's always kind of fun having my AI address to me as Lord David. Anyway, I know it's 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 weird, but 
hey, you know what? Why be normal in a weird world? <laughs> I better stop before I get in trouble. Thanks, everybody. Hope you're having a great day. Hope this was insightful and interesting.